Hello and welcome to the Shiki Science Show where in this video we're going to talk about Unity Biotechnology and their recent update regarding their drug UBX0101 and the results from their phase 2 clinical study in patients with painful osteoarthritis of the knee. So the main takeaway from this recent announcement from the company is that they've decided not to advance UBX0101 to a pivotal study. So in this video, I'll introduce to you Unity Biotechnology and what the company is trying to do. We'll then talk about UBX0101 and the underlying biology underpinning it and the reason why it was used in this trial to try and treat osteoarthritis. And then we'll look at the results that they posted regarding their phase two study. And then I'll conclude by giving some thoughts and opinions. So Unity Biotechnology, as given by their name, is a biotechnology company and their aim is to develop senolytic treatments to slow, halt or reverse diseases of aging. So the company have a few different drugs in their pipeline to treat symptoms of age-associated diseases such as symptoms of neurology in Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's, ophthalmology such as macular degeneration and pulmonary diseases and of interest for this video, musculoskeletal diseases such as osteoarthritis. So from current research, a commonality between these different diseases is the presence of senescent cells, and the company hypothesised that by clearing these senescent cells, they might be able to alleviate some of the symptoms associated with these different diseases. And so drugs that can clear or effectively kill these senescent cells are referred to as senolytics, But what exactly is a senescent cell? So senescent cells refer to cells that have undergone cellular senescence. Senescent cells tend to be a frequent occurrence on my channel and so I've spoken about them in more detail in other videos. But to briefly summarise, cellular senescence is a cell fate whereby cells no longer divide and enter a state of cell cycle arrest and start secreting factors referred to as the senescence-associated secretory phenotype that includes inflammatory factors and signalling molecules. The role of this secretory phenotype is thought to mediate the pathophysiological effects of senescent cells, whereby they can activate immune responses to help clear these senescent cells, which can be beneficial in processes such as wound healing and development. However, if these cells fail to be cleared, and they continue to secrete the secretory phenotype, it could result in chronic inflammation that could have deleterious pro-aging effects. Support for this comes from various studies, in particular from mouse studies, that have shown removal of senescent cells have alleviated age-associated symptoms. For example, in this one study I've highlighted here, intermittent oral administration of senolytics to naturally aged mice alleviated physical dysfunction and increased post-treatment survival by 36% while reducing mortality hazard to 65%. And as I highlighted in a previous video, removal of senescent cells in the brain have shown potential beneficial impacts of alleviating Alzheimer's disease associated symptoms. So the general hypothesis is that the presence of senescent cells and a chronic inflammatory phenotype may be promoting these different diseases and so by clearing the senescent cells it could alleviate further progression of the disease and reduce symptoms. So this brings us back to Unity Biotechnology who are trying to develop different cellulitic drugs that cause senescent cells to enter a state of cell death referred to as apoptosis. And so an ideal trait of these drugs is that they would be selective only for senescent cells and they wouldn't cause normal healthy cells to enter cell death. Finding vulnerable targets in senescent cells is still being highly researched and probably deserves a video of its own, so I'll only talk about the strategy thought to underpin the activity of UBX0101, which was Unity Biotechnologies drug that they use to treat symptoms of osteoarthritis. So UBX0101 is purported to disrupt the interaction between two proteins, MDM2 and P53. MDM2 negatively regulates P53 by targeting P53 for degradation. P53, on the other hand, is a pretty famous protein that does a variety of different functions within a cell, but one of of which is inducing apoptosis. So by disrupting this interaction between MDM2 and P53, the idea is that you can increase the activity levels of P53 
And this high activity levels of P53 can then induce the senescent cells to undergo apoptosis, cell death. So considering that my PhD focuses on P53 and cellular senescence, I was interested when I heard about Unity's program to try and treat symptoms of osteoarthritis by using UBX0101 and why the company have decided to prevent taking this drug any further into clinical trials. So why osteoarthritis? Well, this review article summarises well the painful connection between senescent cells and osteoarthritis. But basically, research so far shows that osteoarthritis is a chronic disease characterised by pain, loss of cartilage and joint inflammation, and the incidence increases with age. And so correlating with this presence is the finding that senescent cells in cartilage can be isolated from patients undergoing total knee artificial implants. And so the evidence now seems to suggest that it's the presence of senescent cells that could be driving the symptoms of osteoarthritis. And so studies conducted in mice further support this understanding. For example, in this Nature Medicine paper, they used a mouse model of post-traumatic osteoarthritis to show that senescent cells accumulate in this condition and that by removing senescent cells, they could alleviate some of the pain associated with this condition. And this pain reduction was also seen when UBX0101 was used as this analytic. And the way that they gave the mice this drug was by an intra-articular injection and as they report, the injection of 0.2 to 5 millimolar of UBX0101 produced a prochondrogenic environment that indicates that the drug was also promoting new cartilage growth as well as removing senescent cells. And so these promising results in mice gave hope for the company to test the efficacy of using UBX0101 to treat osteoarthritis symptoms in humans. And so a phase one trial was initially conducted by the company just to test the different doses and to test the safety and tolerability of the drug. In addition, they looked at some of the clinical effects of taking single or repeat doses of UBX0101. And so as with the mouse study, the patients were administered the drug by an intra-articular injection. So the idea is that the senolytic will only target senescent cells in that surrounding area instead of having a systemic impact. And so the conclusion from this phase one trial was that the clinical data across multiple endpoints showed promise of UBX0101 as a therapeutic for osteoarthritis. And so this was also based on a dose-dependent reduction in the WOMAX score, which is a arthritis index, which is a self-administered questionnaire that asks the patient questions regarding pain, the stiffness, physical function, whereby each of the questions are scored on a scale of 0 to 4, whereby 0 refers to none and 4 refers to extreme. So a reduction in the Waymax score would indicate an alleviation of the pain. So with the results of the phase 1 trial, the company proceeded with starting the phase two trial that enrolled 180 patients this time as opposed to 35 in the phase one trial. And similarly, they were interested in seeing how administration of UBX0101 impacted patients with moderate to severe pain and knee osteoarthritis. However, in the results published by the company this week, they showed that they did not see separation of UBX0101 treatment groups from placebo at 12 weeks. And so I listened into the conference call that the company had on August the 17th, where they spoke a bit more detail about their results. And anyone can listen to that. It's, you can go to their website and click on it. And what they said in this conference call, that what they saw was that they observed a placebo response in the phase two study that was both large in magnitude and long in duration that basically hampered the chance of detecting an effect of UBX0101. And this is most clear by looking at the Waymax score, which is what they were using as their primary endpoint. And so you can see in this graph here that you've got week one through to week 12, which is when this primary endpoint was. And you can see in the different colours, placebo, and then the different doses of UBX0101 administered to the patients. And on the y-axis, you can see the change from baseline. 
So if you see it less than zero, effectively the Waymax score has gone down. And so what you can see by week 12, all of them have shown a reduction, but you also see a reduction in the placebo. And so it's hard to tell from this data if the drug was having an impact. And so having a placebo effect this large is also more likely to happen when you're using a subjective measure such as the Waymax score. However, since the primary aim is to alleviate the symptoms of osteoarthritis, alleviating the pain is something that would be desirable in the patients. And so using the subjective score, you can understand why they use that as their primary endpoint. And so the company said that they don't intend to advance UBX0101 to a pivotal study. And so this is obviously unfortunate news for the senescence community and for senolytics in general. And it raises various questions such as whether or not using senolytics is the, the best approach for alleviating symptoms. For example, as I mentioned in a previous video, removing senescent cells bad, is it that maybe the drug was working? However, maybe in the human studies, there wasn't the promotion of replacement of the lost cells to enable this regrowth of collagen. And so whilst they might have somewhat halted the symptoms, it didn't reverse the symptoms. However, from the, the results that they've released, it's really hard to make any conclusions on that since I've only really got the Waymax score to go by. So it's a shame to see that UBX0101 wasn't effective at alleviating pain from this phase two trial. And so now the company are instead going to focus more on their other senolytics to help alleviate symptoms of macular degeneration and neurodegenerative diseases. So it'll be interesting to see what the results are like um, when or if any of these drugs enter into clinical trials. So hopefully this video has given you good insights, at least of my understanding of what the company is doing and their phase two announcement earlier this week. And I'll be interested to hear any thoughts and opinions that you have as well. And so as always, I hope you've learned something and thanks for listening.